welcome back to South Africa first of all. Thank you. How was the most recent tour? You do so many, it's hard to keep up. Um, the last one was Australia and I mean, it was hell of a fun. I mean, for me it was great because I didn't play the same venues. Um, so it was a completely different crowd. And the feeling is very different because the previous one, there's so much hype built, uh, built around the tour and they would hype it like maybe a month in advance. With this one, they only like let the people know a week before and it was a completely new crowd, which I really enjoyed because when I started, people weren't like, you can't like play an intro and people are like, yeah, you play intro and they're waiting. They're like, okay, so what do you have to offer, you know? And, um, and it was cool to win them over. So I, I really enjoyed it. It was short, but it was sweet. When you're in a gig like that, do you drop a lot of new material because it's all new to them anyway? Um, I, I like to test things out, so I would um, I would try and find my like favorite two tracks, like that's really like big in the electro world, and drop mine in between them and see if I get the same energy. And if I do, then I know, cool, I can release that track. So there's a whole lot of new. You've just done a new EP. There's some remixes around that. But word is that you're working on a full like a ten track album. Yes, um, like it's it's going to be like a twelve track album. Um, with two interludes and then uh, James Bond's going to be on it which is the old, older track but it's nine new tracks um, that I've been working on and off for maybe a year um, so many tracks I've made that I just throw away so um, I've only finished three tracks and it sounds like I've been lazy but it's actually like about 20 tracks that I've just thrown away and decided it's not good enough for the album and I released Joey Bloom and Yassi for free because I didn't want to put it on the album so yeah, it's like I'm, I'm laying back, not playing as many gigs and just focusing on finishing the album and making it like unique and um, so that, uh, uh, timeless, you know, so it doesn't like, it's a new hit for like a week and then it's over. I wanted to have a longer lifespan, so it takes time to work on that. And putting an album of that length out into the electro world, that's quite a brave step. How do you feel about that? It's hell of a risky. I mean, it's make or break. It's um, uh, like I can see when I'm touring now, like the hype is not as heavy as always because I haven't released anything. Um, so it's always a risk. It, I, I mean, and also like an album can be a complete fail if you don't uh, market it right or you have the right label. Um, and I've got a very, very good label interested that I like think will like push me to like a different label and um, I, I get me a, a wider audience. I might lose fans, might gain fans, I don't know, I'm just doing what I like feel I want to do right now and it's not necessarily like my older stuff but um, I feel there's progression in it so you know, I'm, I'm hell of excited. Yeah. We're standing backstage at the electro stage of Ramfest and yeah. it's going off. It's easily as full and there's as much energy as the rock stage. Yeah. How's it for you coming back home here, where on what used to be the rock and metal festival has now got this like huge electro stage going? Well, I'm, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm really surprised. I thought the ride's going to be a fail. I was like, listen, I'm going to play my like new tracks, and I'm going to have be do a hell of a show, based on what I can do. But I think it's going to be a fail. I mean, In Flames is playing the same time as me, so I was like. But now I look at this and I can't believe it. Like the people are keen and like ready. So I think it's gonna be awesome. It's, it's, I don't know, it's bizarre. I don't, I, I can't really explain it. I guess like electronic music is just really taking off and people come to Ramface where it was always a rock and roll festival and they stay at the electronic team the whole day. So I, I, I'm amazed, I think it's great.